good that I've done, that I'm standing here today, but because of the mercy of God that I'm standing here today. I'm thanking God for his love and his mercy and his compassion towards me because I wasn't like this one time. I wasn't like this because of his mercy and his love and his compassion that I'm standing here today in my right mind. I can remember when I first came and I, every time I came to the altar, my chest, every time I tried to reach up, my chest always bothering me. And I'm saying I'm giving God thanks for my mother and pastor because every time I used to spit blood. But one Sunday she called me and I stand right there and she said, she prayed. And I'm giving God thanks for his love and his compassion and mercy. For after that day, my chest never bothered me again and never spit blood. I want to give God for his love and his compassion and his mercy. And I'm saying to myself that we're here and we're saying we just want to just worship God and we just want to look after each other because we have a good thing here. Amen. And I said, we don't need to, to go to the left or go to the right. Every so somebody is dropping, all we need to do is just help them up. Amen. And I said, because we have a good thing going here, Amen. we get it from the top, and no matter what's going on, and we go to our mother and pastor and we speak to her, the instructs, instructor, her, we, we the right way. Amen. And we just want to just listen to instruction and follow, you understand, know, whatever the Lord has led to, for her, to give to us, we must take instruction Amen. in Jesus' name. I'm saying, no matter who give us instruction, from his godly, we must take it in Jesus' name. Amen. I love this church and I love each and every one in this church. No matter what's going on and what's been said, 
We are one big family. I'm giving God for his love and his compassion and his mercy towards us. You know, we could go to anyone, and because of the teaching we get, and the instruction we get, we can go to anyone, the smallest of one, and we can say, pray for us. Amen. We can say, this is not right, and they can instruct you and say, okay, yes, this is not right, do it this way. And I'm giving God thanks for his love and his construction and his mercy towards us. Keep praying my strength in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings to my pastor, everyone in the restroom, Pew. I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Truly this name is the only name that I can greet you in because it is a saving name. You know, today um, there's two verses of the scripture that we read today that really caught me. One of them was when Jesus said, if you only knew, would never stay away. He said, if you only know the blessing that salvation brings, you would never stay away. But Jesus said to the woman, if you only knew, if you only knew, Jesus answered and said unto her, if thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that said to thee, give me to drink, hallelujah, thou wouldest have asked of him. And he would have given the living water. Thank you, Jesus. You know, when you are thirsty, if you even drink juice, no matter what you drink, there is still something that you need to quench your thirst and is water. But Jesus is the living water. When, when that woman met Jesus at the well, her life was transformed into somebody else. Eventually she become an evangelist. If we only knew the blessing that salvation give, we would never stay away. After she met Jesus, she realized that the water pot that she was carrying, she couldn't carry it no longer. You know, sometimes we just need to drop off the weight and sin. Sin of malice, sin of hate, sin of discord among us. And then we know that we will go on to perfection. If we only knew. I love to sing and I'm going to sing this song. If I can. Read the gospel to the lost, near and far. I won't stand empty-handed at God's judgment bar. So I dare not relax until I've done all he acts. Don't let me leave. Behind an unfinished task. I said, if I can read the gospel to the lost, near and far, I won't stand empty handed at God's judgment bar. So I dear not relax until I've done all he asks. Don't let me leave behind an unfinished task. You
have wounded my friend if I have wronged my brother give me courage precious Lord just to make the men for when I come to change my world and see glory don't let me
God, remember the Spirit of God. We thought, Pastor, we to each and every one greetings in Jesus' name. Testimony service is now open, so you can stand and talk about the goodness of Jesus. Praise God. Silas 
Peter, the whole of them, they command the dead to raise and he rise up. God um, command Lazarus to come forth and he did come forth. And it's the same power that God put in us. So we got to believe. We got to believe God. Rise your faith, my people, and believe God in Jesus. How can I say thanks for the things that you have done for me? Things so undeserved. Yes, God gave his love. Thank you, Jesus. He gave to prove his love for me. The sun said we can agree with the voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude. Oh, Yes. Yeah. 
that he has placed in my life. And my aim and my desire is to come to love him, to serve him, and to do his own will until he calls me. God bless you. Praise. 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 I was working, um, my manager and supervisor gave me the hardest jobs and difficult situations where I was getting back pain, right here. So one day, it was a Thursday afternoon, I stood in the workshop, right? I said, God, deal with them. That's what I said, you know. I didn't phone no office or phone nobody. I said, God, you're my father. Amen. Deal with them. Amen. And by the Friday afternoon, you know, the phone rang from head office. Right. Friday. That is real. He said, come in the day, but call the guy. I said, like Peter and John, because me. From Monday, you're both transferred out of here. That is real. Yes, amen. Just like that, really. Yes. Transferred out. Yes. So you say to the manager, what have, what have I done? What have I done? The manager says, you're both out. Out. And who will replace you is Bob, my friend. <laughs> so they bring Bob and Bob will back up. Have tea, have beef. That is good. That is good. The man giving preference to me. Mm. But it's when you're a child of God. Yes. And you believe in God. Yes. He will move any mountain. Yes. And these testimonies we have, only confirm to us yes. that he is real. Yes. And don't let Satan take your testimony. Yes. Always remember what God has done. Yes. Pray for me, Jesus. Yes. Yes.
I feel my heart go bip, bip. So I have to get up. Praise that is God. real. You know, I was coming one day and I took the 149. And it was so packed. It was really packed. And after I touched my card and coming down, you know, in the first part, a lady shout out and say, Are you a child of God? Pray for me because I am sick. I am saying this to say, I wasn't ashamed to let her know Amen. that I am a child of God. Amen. She could see for me that I am. The bus was so packed, but God took away any shame that I would have to own him. I'm saying this to say, don't hide that you are a child of God. Amen. Let the world know, let the world see that you are a child of God. Many people don't want to say Jesus in public. You don't even want your co-worker sometimes to know how you're still friends. But if you disown Jesus, he will disown you as well. God bless you in Praise Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How can I forget what, what Jesus has done for me? He has healed my body. I am giving God thanks because he has brought me out from a mighty, mighty young man. Thank God for you, sir. Amen. Christ-like, yes. and uh, 
and I don't have to be looking over my shoulder wondering, no. oh, they just come out of prison, they this and that. But I'm giving God thanks for that. Yes, yes. And also, I was thinking that um, a, few, a few years back, I used to suffer with uh, hay fever. Um, it was really, really bad. Um, and there was one, one summer, I remember I was going to school just before the summer holiday, and the hay fever was really bad. And I remember I was fasting that day and I said, I don't want to take no tablets to, and, 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 to, to eat and then take the tablet. So I said, you know what? I'm going to pray on this one. And I anointed myself and I said, um, no hay fever in Jesus' name. Amen. And I said, you know what? Uh, that's not enough. The Bible says faith without, work, faith without works is dead. So what I done was I walked right through the park, through the hedges, all the trees and everything like that. And I went to school and I could feel my nose starting to play up a bit. And I said, the blood of Jesus. And for that day, that was fine. I'm giving God thanks for that. But then again, at the start of this year, it was a bit, it was a bit hot around February, March. And I said, this year I'm not having no hay fever. I'm going to play in the sun. Amen. I'm going to go to the park. I'm going to do all of that. Yeah. And I said, in Jesus' name, I'm not going to sneeze once to this year. Amen. I believe you me, brethren. I only sneezed once. <laughs> <laughs> then what happened was I went to the park. I went around everything like that. I'm going to take one hay fever. I'm going to take no hay fever. Like that. I'm giving God thanks for that. Praise God. I'm giving God thanks for life and for the many blessings and that it's not the big things that he does for me that I'm thanking him for, it's the little things. Yeah. I remember one Saturday I was at home preparing a dinner because tomorrow is Sunday to come to the church for Sunday. <coughs> and then I was there, I bought some what's it called? washing machine, tablet. Came in with the tablet, I put it on the surface, I opened it because I was going to wash my clothes. Open it and put it down on the counter. By the time I could go in my bedroom and come back, there was my little, my little oh, one. She had the tablet in her hand. Took it from her. I put it back on the counter. So she went back and took it out. By the time I could go back from in my room to come back, she ran down with her eyes, face covered, both eyes closed. And she was screaming the house down. She wouldn't stand up for me to wash her eyes, but I wash her eyes quickly with whatever I could find. Wash her, but I didn't know that I had to wash her for that long. Took her to the hospital. When I took her to the hospital, she had, bear in mind, she had never opened the eye. This happened from 4 o'clock. She had never opened the eye since it happened. Took her to the hospital, and I took her to the hospital, because I got there at 7 o'clock. Anyway, they went there, and they had to use 5 liters of water to flush her eyes out. So she was kicking, and she was screaming. And then at the same time, her sister being called me. Because by then, she had, they had finished flushing her eyes out. When she called me, I said, oh, they put some dye in her eyes. And they said that there was damage to her eye. So I said to them, the damage that is there, what does it mean? Is, does she have to wear glasses? They said, no, it means that they're going to have to operate on the eye. When I told this to Sister B, she was there pleading in the name of Jesus for her yes. operation. After I come back to the hospital a couple of weeks, they gave me some antibiotics and, and stuff to put in the eye. But I'm here giving God thanks Praise because God. she was not blind. Praise I'm giving God thanks because her eyes are completely healed. I remember one time I went to the hospital when they diagnosed me with high blood pressure. I walked in the hospital and my blood pressure was 185 or 153. I walked in there and said, How did you walk in? This time I was a sinner and I said, By the grace of God, I come in here. Not knowing that I was next to a stroke. But I'm giving thanks for all the time that you say that I'm going to come back again. When I go to the hospital, high blood pressure again nearly knocked me down. They sent me home and said I should go to the major hospital. And I said, Father, but if I was that serious, they wouldn't have sent me to go. They would have put me in an ambulance. So I came and I went home and I said, Father, God, I'm begging you to keep me till tomorrow. <laughs> no other time till tomorrow. Because at least then tomorrow I find this way. I'm giving God thanks because He's so much for me. He has never failed me yet. He has defended me when I was in sin. And He has defended me. But I don't want to take for granted the fact that sometimes as Christians, when you get saved, you become comfortable. Because when I was in sin, I remember I was closer to God than now I am a Christian. Because I'm thinking, because I put on His name, He has to save me. But that's not always the case. I've been continuing to keep God's praise. Praise God. 
name of Jesus. Praise God. My testimony is really very simple, but I was thinking about it during the week. I remember I took an exam um, and it comprised two papers, paper A and paper B. And I put all my effort, everything that I had in paper A. And when the result came, I thought zero. I said, no, this ain't right. So I took my ID and I, each number, I said six, nine. I had to check. I said, there must, there's something wrong here. Zero. But that time, the college is closed. So I couldn't ask no question to the tutor. So I had to wait two weeks with this pressure. I said, I failed. I failed. I failed. I was, I went to choir practice and I remember seeing Sister Simone with a big smile. And I couldn't smile. And she was trying to make me laugh. And I was, I was so down, so heavy. So as soon as the place opened, I was back there at 9 o'clock. I went to the tutor. I said, there is a mistake. I never failed this. He said, oh, yes, she did. I said, what? He said, it done very well, but it's paper B, not paper A. I'm very I left out with a message on my which I carry today that I don't want to speak to the portal to hear you run well. Mm. Hey. Anyway, I'm coming to the full knowledge of the truth. Mm. And I just thought, don't let me be lost at that day, thinking everyone on my mind, but I don't get up there. Because I want change from my rebellious face. I want change from the things within me. Hatred, malice, all these things will tell me from today to get rid of. And I reach to the portal to say, You did. Glory. Hey. Who, who hinder you? Was it the pastor? Was it the brethren? Who hinder you from getting it? Let me say, us back safely. Thank you, I mean, God has been so good. Thank you, God has been so good. Sometimes I say that, God, I have no reason to complain. Mm -hmm. If I complain, if I choose to complain. Mm -hmm. Because I realize that anything God do is well done. Amen. Sometimes it may not fit me because it's not my will. But when I stop and think that it's not my will, that it's his will, yeah, yeah. and I learn to appreciate God Amen. more. But I'm just giving God thanks for his love and for his mercy. And giving God thanks that could be found in this house one more time. Praise God. He said the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. We give God thanks. I remember one Saturday I came in here. God is good. Every time I remember... I felt it to my heart. I came here one Saturday in fasting and I stand right there. I feel my body was shaking. I felt like I'm going to go like this. I just leave to go down. Because of obedience, I want to stand. I stand. And all of a sudden, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise Glory to God. I just hear my pastor come and my two foot and say, in the name of Jesus. Isn't it God? Why should he touch my hand? Why should he touch my feet, my, my, my side, or my back? But right where I was going to dr just drop down. She said it right on my, my eye closing up right here. And I heard, in the name of Jesus, and my two feet. I tell you something. If you remember, Bridget, the person where was going to fall on the floor, Holy Ghost, take over. I jump, I jump, I jump, I jump, I jump. You wouldn't believe that it was me. God is a answering God. God is a healer. Praise God. And you know why? It's a long time now, you know. Maybe you have about five years. Are, are, are less than that. Praise God. And I'm here until now. Never, never one Saturday it ever happened to me again. God is real. And I've proven God that he is real. Praise the name of the Lord. There's nothing too hard. And that's why brethren, we must come to fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. Fasting is good. Yesterday, I get up in the morning. And I'm telling you, I have some pain here. Pain, pain. I say, oh God, I need to go to fasting, God. 
and I lay my hand upon myself. In the name of Jesus, sister. And I lay my hand on myself. And I say, in the name of Jesus. I say, the blood of Jesus is against you. And Bridget, when I finish, I walk out and I go in the kitchen. And I do what I have to do. Me just say, I remember the pain. I don't feel no pain. And God touch me and take away the pain that I could be able to come to fasting and fast. God is a good God. Praise God. Don't let we doubt him, brethren. Believe him. He say even for the very work's sake, we must believe him. And I give God thanks. He's a good God. You know, sometimes when you sit down back and you look in your life and you think, how God has been good to you. You know, sometimes you, you really curse yourself. Not you. You tell off yourself, man. When you look and say, oh, God, good to you. You tell off yourself, man. You know how you mean it, you know. You meant it, man. Because you want to serve the Lord. Praise God. And I give God thanks. He's a good God. And all the testimony, I give God thanks to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Let's praise, God. Let's praise the Lord another time. Jesus. Truly, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Amen. And the woman of God just have to do what God says because whenever God speaks, that's what he means. Amen. The Lord showed me that I was going to say something. I wanted to testify, but I had to run out. But nevertheless, I want to honor the presence of the Lord because God is a good God. And because of that, I just want to give him the glory, the praise, and the honor. It's not of any good thing that I have done, but it's because of his grace, his mercies, why I'm not consumed. When I look back over my life and I think things over, I can truly say that God is a good God. You know that he has been in it. He has been with me through it all. You know, when I look at I love to read the word and when I look and I go into the book and I go back to the very beginning in the beginning of Genesis it says in the beginning was a word and the word was with God and when you go into St. John it said and the word was God and the same was in the beginning and when you look at it the spirit of the Lord he moved upon the waters of the earth it was without form and void and he said let there be and there was and so it is that same very God that we trust today. You know, there are times when it might seem as if we can't make it. It might seem as if we can't go on. But the songwriter, he says that I feel like going on. Though trials come on every side, I feel like going on. And so when you go back into Genesis and God said, let there be, and he made the earth in six days and he rested. And then when you look into it, he made Adam and he made Eve. And when you look, you know, he said, let man be formed in his own image. And it was man he gave the power and the dominion to speak and to control the animals upon the earth. So if he gave them that authority, what authority do we have? We have the authority to speak into those things as if they were so that they shall be. Glory be to God. And he said before one jot of his word pass, heaven and earth will first have to pass away. And so if we who is his image who was made in his likeness if we are like that what about when we speak that is why i trust in the word of god that says life and death is in the power of the tongue speak life and live and so when you go when you look there are gonna be there are gonna be people who are abnormal in the kingdom of god when you, when you continue to search the scriptures and you go into the book where he wrote about Abraham before he became Abraham he said Abraham I'm calling you from a land of Ur of the Chaldees glory be to God and he said glory I'm going to send you into the land of Canaan and he gave Abraham the promise hallelujah and because of that Abraham became the father of many nations and even though it seemed impossible, glory be to God. God, hallelujah. Abraham, he went into the land of Canaan and it seemed as if he could not have been a father that his wife Sarah had passed the age of bearing. But God is God. And what God did, he allowed glory be to God Sarah to give birth even though she didn't believe because 
angels came, she laughed. Mighty God. But when God give a word, his word have to come to pass. That's why I love the scripture that Habakkuk said that no division tarry. Wait for it. Hallelujah. It might seem as if it is long in coming, but he said he has given his word. It is a light unto our path. And so, oh glory be to God. The psalmist David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. He continued to say, how can a young man cleanse his ways by taking heed to the word of God? Thank you, Jesus. And so when you continue to realize that you might feel as if you are imperfect, that you feel as if you are a nobody, that you feel as if you are nothing. But when you look, Abraham was a nobody. He was not born to be said to be said that he was a Canaanite. But God called him. When you look, his children. When you go into Isaac, and when you go into Jacob's story, and when you continue on to Joseph, they were not normal people. Because Jacob was considered a trickster. Oh God. He robbed his brother Esau of his birthright. And because of that. Almighty oh God. His whole life he was being tricked. But nevertheless. God called him one day. And he changed his name from Jacob. And he called him Israel. Because he is the beginning of many nations. He is the beginning of the call of the people of God don't be discouraged don't be dismayed because even though Joseph he was considered to be his father's favorite he was given the coat he was given that colorful coat so the hand of God was upon him the hand of his father was upon him but then the enemy recognized his purpose and so the enemy he wanted to confuse Joseph because when he spoke his dreams even his brothers who were his closest friends his close family they, cur they, they cursed him about his dreams how could he be being one of the youngest allow them the oldest to serve him but the God that he served had already given a word and the word was that Joseph or the dreamer he was going to be greater than his brethren and so I encourage somebody tonight that even though you might feel that God has given a word that you feel as if you can't make it that you felt as if the word that came was not really from God I want to remind you of Habakkuk that though the vision tarry wait for it the psalmist David he said weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning thank you Jesus he said as well that the darkest hour of the night is just before dawn so you might even feel as if you are Daniel in the lion's den you might feel as if you are Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fire but the fire is what is going to turn you into pure gold your problems are what is going to use to mold you like the cement to burn it almighty God the iron in the, in the fire so it is that you are being formed and shaped so be encouraged don't give up don't give in it seems so easy to throw in the towel but I saw an article recently Recently, that said that somebody threw God, threw all the towel to God, and God threw it back and said, Wipe your tears because you are about to get your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so 
today as I come before your presence not my will but let God's will be done as I speak into your lives I trust that as of this very moment you're not gonna give up you're not gonna give in you're not gonna let go you're gonna hold on unto God's unchanging hands you might feel abnormal but God used the foolish things of this world to confound the wise Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. And so today, you have your chronicles to write. Because when you read the scriptures, it said, and these were written in the book of the chronicles. And so it is that it is your testimonies that you're writing of how God brought you over, of how God brought you through, of how God allowed you to see, even when it seems impossible, that he is the God of the impossibilities. And so be encouraged. I want you to encourage yourself in the word, because it is the word that gives you strength. We know God through his word. We know him according to the in St. Matthews uh, that told us about the principles uh, ask, seek, and knock uh, and when we go before him his will will be done yeah. so not our will uh, but let his divine will be done as we continue to hold on to his words yes. and to trust him as we continue to go over and not under in Jesus name yes. as I travel through this pilgrim land there is a prayer Please me, send me to the place that it is a
Yes. Praise. I am not a preacher. But I will tell you a few Praise. words. You know, the song said, Jesus, I never forget. What you've done for me. What you have done for me. Oh, can I, you I would know be what ungrateful. Jesus done for you. Uh, How can you forget? Because, you know, brethren, I was sitting in my house. And something came to me. All the years, all the days, every Sunday, during the week, you go mm -hmm. to church. Uh, Think of yourself. Why? Think of yourself. Oh. We hear enough preaching. We get enough teaching. Oh, Jesus. Work on your spiritual life. In the name of Holiness Jesus. Holiness unto yes. God is name a watchword and song. Amen. God is coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. It's real. He called of us, washing the blood of the Lamb. The one. God called them, but Jesus. he raised them. Mm -hmm. Because God is holy. God is the spirit that dwells inside of you. Teacher. And if you have the spirit of God in you, Lord the spirit God. of God should work. Amen. If you come in the church and you're spiritual dead, mm -hmm. you've got to go back to penitence. It's true. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, because God called Lazarus. Mm -hmm. And if Lazarus didn't have his spirit in him, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have got up. So we can't sit in the church and be Lazarus. Jeez. Anywhere you go, you're a marked person. It's true. Because God knows his children. I'm on the bus. People come to me. I don't know them. No, I don't know them. Mm. This week, God, I took my car to the garage. And when I drove the car from my home to Mitchell, the car could burn up and I would have dead. Uh, you wouldn't know I would be here. Not because I sit down there and I didn't sell anything. You don't know what I've been through. The car would burn up. You know what the mechanic said to me? He said, because you are a praying woman. I don't know which Sunday you are, what day you don't go to church. Jesus. The whole engine was splattered with petrol. It only want that. I don't think catch a fire. What would you do? I said, God was on my side. And he protect me everywhere I go. He always protect me. Yes. I was in the house this week. And I was in the next room. Something tell me not to leave the house. Mm -hmm. The whole front of the house, over where the bay window is, there's a little roof. The whole of that tore away. Mm -hmm. There was water coming through this, the roof of the house into the bedroom, mm -hmm. like you open a pipe. Oh my! God. I said, my God, you always warn me. Yes. You always protect me. Praise. You always show me the things. Praise. So I was running from place to place to find buckets. As fast as the bucket full, I'm running. I said, Jesus, help me. Yes. Only. Hold back the rain. No, Let the rain stop. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. The rain did stop. Amen. I believe. Hallelujah. Amen. The rain stopped. It's true. Brethren, to me. God put something in you. Test it. Yes. Work on it. When I had arthritis in my two knees, yes. I get up in the night and I say, God, this body belongs to you. That's right. Why should I suffer? Amen. No. You name God, I said, the blood of Jesus yes. come out. No. In the name of Jesus, Amen. come out. No. No. And now, the blood of Jesus. Yes. When I get up in the morning until this day. Praise. No, praise. 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 God is good. Yes. yes. Listen to the testimony. Yes. Work on yourself. Amen. This church, the presence of God is here. Amen. Everywhere you go, at the Pentecostal church, you don't know what you have. No. Stop playing with it. That's my favorite. I will lose it. Amen. Shall we stand and pray the Lord Jesus? Hallelujah. Shall we give God thanks? Give God thanks. Hallelujah. Give God thanks. Praise. Amen. Give God thanks. God is real. Amen. Of God, a group of pastors, saints, I greet you all again in the mighty name of Jesus. God is good. I've been blessed so far Hallelujah. in what we've heard Praise. tonight. Amen. And um, just to conclude the scripture this morning, um, it's in John chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Jesus went through a city of Samaria. Yes. He must go through Samaria. Samaria. And then he comes to a city. There's many cities of Samaria, many cities, but he came to a particular city, a particular one of Samaria, which is called Saika. There's many cities, but he went to this one. And it was near a parcel of ground that Jacob gave 
to his son Joseph. What I'm saying, brethren, is that he went to a specific place with exact location. It was near a parcel of ground. So that parcel of ground, it was not any ground. Not any piece of land he went to. He went to and he gave the name of the person that owned the land. It was Joseph. Who was Joseph? Jacob's son. But what, why did he, he give the other son of Jacob land? Why Joseph land? Joseph had 12 sons, all had land. But why did he go to the old land? Why he went to Joseph's land? This particular place. Why? You see what I'm going? Yes. But he. Right, he went to this particular place. Yes. A parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Yes. Remember, Joseph was taken in captivity at 13 years old. Yes. Sold to Egypt. He never had that land. Joseph was taken as a boy to Egypt, remember? Yes. For all his life in Egypt, he never got to the land. But the land was given to him. Yes. And Joseph was a type of Christ. Yes. Yeah? His lifestyle, yeah? Yes. What I'm saying, brethren, is that the woman also has a part to play. But the location also has a key part to play. But there are some locations where God will meet you there. Yes. yes. You only can go and ask the person who knows about it yes. to direct you where to go. Yeah. Yeah. There's some place in God yes. that you can't find on your own. Yes. No matter how you pray and fast, you can't find it. No. This land was particular. Yeah. How do you know that Joseph owned it? Yes. How do you know that it was psycho? How do you know these things? Yes. For someone told somebody about the place. Yes. yes. There's some things that you can't find on your own. You have to go back to the person who's been there. Yeah. Yes. Amen. To direct you how to get there. Amen. All parts of experience. Yes. From over 50 years. Amen. 50, how much? 50 plus years. My years is maybe, what? How much years do I have? How much years do I have? Okay. I have a few years under my belt, yeah? And I've seen old brethren point me in the right direction. They point me to go that way. And when I go that way, the journey becomes easier. You can get a road map or sat nav today and it can lead you all over the place. And you go right round, right round, right round, right round, and it can bring you back where it's not. But some of them old man might know a, a path Amen. that cut through the wood. You know that like Jamaica have some cut and some countries some bush cut. Yes. That you cut through the bush. And you save a lot of journey, you know. But the sharp cut. But it may be slippery and dark. But it saves time. We don't have time to waste. So this place was a part of the ground, yeah? That was known for miracles. Jacob, Joseph was there. And what I'm saying, brethren, is this now. Jesus met her there at that well. Now, how do you get a well? Where do you, how do you make a well? I don't, I don't, you have to dig it. You can't dig any old land. You got to first sign. The water first. You can't find any dig in the place. You better test the ground and you get indications that water underground. You you have a method of testing the land. And you can see where the water is. You don't have to dig anyhow, like dig, 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 dig. While you gotta find the water first. But to get to the water, you gotta prepare to dig. Yes. 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 Take out the stone. Yes. All rubbish out of the way. Yes. And the wells normally 
are made between rock. Rock. So I pray to the saints, if I want the well, if I want the water, if I want the water, I have to prepare to dig it. If you want to dig, you get no water. You get surface water, which is muddy and cloudy. But to get the pure water, you have to prepare to dig in the right location. Now here was a well at this point of land. Jacob's father gave him the land and also gave him a well. God don't give you land with no water. God will never give you land with there's no water there. You see what I'm going with? God will never give you a pastor of drum or a blessing. And it's drought. Amen. There's water there. Yes. But you have to appear to dig it in there. Yes. There's water in this church. Yes. Bounties of water. Yes. Bounties of water here. Hallelujah. But we have to appear Praise. to dig it. Amen. And this well was here for how many years? Jacob died thousands of years ago. But the water is still there. Jacob well never run dry. And the well was deep. Why deep? Why deep? You know, the deeper the water, deeper the well, is your purer the water. The deeper the well. Your, your salvation, as you are prepared to dig and go through suffering, you will come out better than anybody else. The more tests, the more anointed. The more you overcome, the more blessed you get. So the deeper you go, the poorer you become. Hallelujah. The deeper you prepare to dig. Is the more clearer, precious, clearer yes. the water becomes. Yes. And water is so deep, you know, so deep, it can't get contaminated. Yes. That is pure yes. and defined. You can't get the water by ordinary effort. Hallelujah! You have to appear to dig to get the water. Yes. So this land was specific, made for Jacob. Yes. And his well was there. So it was a particular place of history <coughs> that God went to. And women went there for water. Eh? Now in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. Eh? 2 verse 13. We talk about well and water, yeah? Now Jeremiah 2, 13 says. Um, where's it going? It says here. 2 13. Oh, three, is it three thirteen? Two thirteen, yeah. <coughs> yes. Jesus God says, "My people have committed two evils. Yeah? Two evils have committed. They have forsaken me, the fountain, the fountain of living water, and filled out cisterns, broken cisterns." That can own no more. <coughs> God is taking us back to the original source. Where you get the living water from. Amen. It is from God. And if you decide not to go for this living water, it's a fountain now. <coughs> not a stream. Amen. A fountain is over there. Push. Bring up. It pushes. Living water carry no 
disease. Living water. We are forsaking it. Because you know why? To us, we call it too hard. The most of us live only, you become unsociable. Nobody will talk to you. Who said that? You can be happy, but don't sin. You can enjoy yourself, but you don't commit no sin. So he can't be happy. Have a good time. Of course you can. But when God says, time enough, you pull away. God said, God said, fall over, pray. You pray. But God said, seek me, you seek him. There's time for everything. You have fun all day long. I no. Sunday, come pray, oh, what pray you want to tell you? No, 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 no. You have fun all week. Happy nothing all week. Happy nothing all week. A Sunday, you want to pray, what pray you want? No, 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 no. I would have said no to that TV food. Wash, wash. But the restaurant and the bad. You don't see food. No, 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 no. So you want to have your own water, yes. your own bucket, your own, your own systems. That's all good. So you think it's a man-made method. Man-made. It's not living. It's your own homemade. So you can't stand. When you keep washing the bottle too long, what happens? You get blue and dirty. Yes. Put water too long outside the window. The water is locked, the bottle locked up in but the water is green. The water is not, you know, nothing has gone into the water. But the water gets dirty. How can it be? <laughs> because it's a man made that they put. Yes. But the living water, you that God will give us. Always pushing out weakness. Pushing out carnality. Praise. Pushing out doubt. Pushing out fear. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. The living water. Yes. A fountain. Yes. You know fountain? You put your hand in the water. Name of Jesus. But the fountain push it out so. Yes. Because the fountain. Thank you. The fountain. Pressure of the fountain. Yes. High pressure. High pressure. Yes. So you can't hold it down. No. Nobody can hold on to the fountain. Amen. 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 Praise. Yes. He is the living fountain. Yes. yes. Oh, can you hold on, God? Praise him. Praise him. Yes. And never. You can Hallelujah. never hold him down. Amen. Amen. Never. Hallelujah. Nobody. Fight the pressure of the fountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When men using water to break rock. Yes. You know what you in the high pressure of water. Go ahead. Yes. 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 High pressure. Yes. And it penetrates that rock, you know. Praise. And the water, you know. Yes. Break the rock. Yes. Praise. Yes. The high pressure. It's true. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Go ahead. Break the rock. Yes. So he is the living rock. Yes. Do it. Do it. Yes. And if you decide yes. to have your own water. Praise. Your own water, praise. You have committed an evil blessing in the sight of God. Yes. 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 If you refuse to get the living water, Hallelujah. Yes. what water do you have? Hallelujah. Bless him, Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. If you refuse Hallelujah. or forsake Teach the fountain, the water. not the stream, a river. The fountain, the source, the power, praise, praise, praise. What power do you have? In the name of Jesus. So, forsaking the living water, yes, you have committed an evil straight away. You have committed an evil against God. For God knows that the water is given you. I am the living water. Jesus. Remember? Yes. I am the bread of life. Eat. He that cometh to me, 
So if he promised that living water to you and you cannot receive that quenching, something is needed. Is that right? You have opened your own cistern. You're too lazy to dig. You're too lazy to dig. Teach him. Too lazy to dig to get that water. You know, in Africa right now, there's some rivers in Africa that are 100 percent or 90 percent mineral clean. They're so clean that the government wants to protect that water because it's so pure. Because that water can't get in the shop. You can't get that kind of water in the shop because that's natural, clean water. And there's water that have potential to heal the body, you know? Yes. You go in that bath, whatever sickness you have, the water, the water you know, has potential to heal you. Thank you. So, much less the living water. I guarantee you, you get this water of life, all your infirmities, all your condition will be made whole. But if you shake it, and open your own cisterns. That whole water, you always be in drought. Jesus, Jesus. Praise God. they have forsaken me. Yeah? Yeah. You know, to forsake God, you might say, God don't need nobody, God don't want no one. See, God, when God called me and you, he called us for a purpose, you know? Yes. To make the world know that he is alive. Amen. He is true. Amen. And if we forsake him, how can we give any, anyone any water? How can you give what you don't have? Well, I, I, I want not to forsake him. Jesus. That the living water will spring up in me. Blessing. But Jesus said, there's many things you know, we don't clearly debate about. But in my closing, Jesus said that... Um, John, John the Baptist says, John John says, this, John the Baptist says, sorry, um, he that comes to me, he that comes after me, is mightier than I, who shoot like I'm not worthy to stoop down and loose. But he will what? Baptize you with what? And what? Right. Thank you, Jesus. That is like a fountain, right? Holy Ghost and with fire. We talk about fire, 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 fire. Amen. Fire, fire, not to scream down the place. That's not fire I'm talking about. You can scream as much as you want. That's not the fire we're talking about. The fire we're talking about is when God make, make you new. Yes. When God change you and make you new. Burn out, sin. He shall baptize you. Yes. With the Holy Ghost. And fire. The Holy Ghost only. And fire. Not Holy Ghost only. Amen. But with fire. So if you don't have the fire yet, Praise. get the fire. Praise. You may have the Holy Ghost, but no fire. Don't burn out. No, no. You can't burn nothing out. So you must go back. Yes. To be rebaptized with fire. Praise. Praise. And yes. And fire for all Holy Ghost and fire praise you may have holy ghost but to complete the job yes you need fire it's only the fire can do the work jesus only the fire he will accept so when you get up to speak you speak and out of your mouth must come fire jesus. when you sing it must come fire praise him praise when you pray Fire must come into your mouth. Name of Jesus. Praise. Praise. You know, this week I was thinking, this house, Hackney Church, mm. should have been so hot Amen. that as the man walking, I won't walk in. It's true. And they step in the building. Fire thing. Without saying a word, without even opening your mouth, the atmosphere. Yes. Healing somebody. Amen. 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 It was like that. It was like that before. Yes. Peter came in here. No testimony going on. Just one song. Yes. One course. Oh, he was moving. The and place. I said, Take me back. 
if you have forsaken the fountain of life and you want to do it your own way Jesus. we mean you want to seek water your yes. own path your own way you have committed an evil yes. in God's sight evil because you are forsaken the living water and doing things your way how you please how you feel it to go what you want to do how you think it should go that's how you want it to be but God says no no I am the living fountain yes I am the living water yes I am the one that's going to make the difference not you I am going to do it in the name of Jesus if you forsake me you are doing your own thing yes with no results God gone God is gone only the is shaking and the minister so I'm, I'm, I behold us tonight they shake the living water Hallelujah. Jesus and also Joseph passed up ground but to this picture mm. mm. I'm going to give this to you in the Bible yeah. every family got a bit of land you know yes. every tribe got a bit of land yes they're the portions mm. so you wouldn't cross it to my land because you had your own portion of land that's right like in like the Caribbean, you know? Yes. Mommy give John that yeah, piece there. Have Mommy give that piece down there. Yes. And you get the piece. Yes. So you have your own piece of land. That's right. Don't need to bother my land. That is it. Or work, work your own land. Yeah. So they had their own piece of land. And those land was hand down by generation. That is true. Yeah. Hand down by generation. And when they die, they request, bury me in my land. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Take my bones back. To that land, not my uncle's land, mm -mm. my land, yeah. my father's land. It's our land, bring us back as a sacred memorial. Mm -hmm. So, Hackney has a landmark too. In the name of Jesus. Hackney has a land. Yes, right. What do you mean? A mark. And yes. if I, I'm in this church and I want to be my own mark somewhere else, mm. it won't work here. No. Because all my energy is outside. That is true. All my Effort is outside. No. Building somebody else up. What are this? Why don't I build up my own land? Jesus. Go ahead, preach. Build up my land. No. This part of ground. This part of ground. The name build of this Jesus. one up. Jesus. Don't worry about down the road. No. Build this one up. In the name of Jesus Christ. And when you build this piece of land up here. Yes. And you put it together. Yes. Jesus will walk in. That is true. As he did at the well of Sakai. Mm -hmm. well, there. For the land was. Save some sacred. So in our house tonight, don't worry about down the road. No. I want to go down the road and help somebody. Thank you. First of all, build up this land here. In the name of Jesus. And when we build up this piece of ground here, put all our energy, eh? all our emotion. Yeah, everything. All energy, our mind. Put, our put soul. it all in here. Oh. All of it, man. Mm. Everything. Jesus. God will be pleased. Amen. Amen. And they would visit us. Yes. If I'm sitting here, my mind in Jamaica, uh, you're in America, you're in Barbados, you're in everywhere. Uh, what can what can happen? Nothing can happen. Amen. Mix up. Come and sing, sing all the around, and nothing done. Mix up. Yeah, yes, then you still wonder what, why God, where is God, where is God gone? Because everybody has their own agenda. It's true. But it's true. This parcel of ground. Work on this one. Uh, yeah, that Honey, to you. Work on this one. Work on this one. You want to sing like angel? Sing here. Amen. You want to preach like Paul? Preach here. Amen. Do it right here. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's true. Yes. Don't go to rest and give them talent. Do it right here. Yes, go ahead, preachers. Read. Give up all of it here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pour the soul in here, man. Make up your mind. Amen. Make up your mind. Yes. Come out for the fence. And when you come together like that, in teach. unity, yes, it is like the oil. Yes, that run down oh, here. Air. Air and spear. Down to the skirt of his garment. Of his garment. Unite. Unity. Unity. Yes. Bless it. Name of Jesus. Dear the Lord, come on the best. Even life forevermore. Even life. Unifying it. Bring it together. Mm -hmm. So this part of the ground here, like cycles will, has specific meaning. Yes. And nobody who come in here to break it down, they won't break down. Because God started it. Praise it. And God will continue it Amen. to the end of the world. Amen. We will come
come in here, we do our part. Praise. But make sure, brethren, I make sure to myself. Praise. Do my time, my chapter, come up. Come. I've done what I should do. Mm. You can't be in church 40 years and don't do nothing. Yeah. You can't be in for church 40 years and don't reach there yet. Mm -mm. Five years in church, together. okay, 10 years. And you don't reach the place yet. Good God. Five years. Five years, most five years. And you can't reach there yet. Come on, brethren. Because we are forsaken. We are forsaken God. And doing things to our own self. That's why we can't get nowhere. Teach him, Lord. Hackney is a blessed place, you know. In the name of Jesus. And some may think that we're old fashioned. There's nothing about old fashioned. They're old fashioned. You see, old -fashioned. God is. God hasn't changed. They're old fashioned with them. God hasn't changed. God, really? see, if it worked 10 years ago, 20 years ago, if this thing worked 50 years ago, mom, mm -hmm. it worked for us 50 years ago, why can't it work today? It still works. You need to add nothing or change nothing. It will work. If you change something, you're opening your own system, your own way of doing things, and it won't work. So may God bless us tonight. That we all become with one mind, one heart. Amen. Yes. Amen. One focus. Amen. That this ground here, this parcel of ground, Amen. this one, yes. Hackney Pentecostal Church, yes. this power, this parcel of ground teach here, him, Lord. this one, you put all your energy, yes, all your effort, and name everything you have, put it to build up this ground. Yes. Praise. And God will see the unity. Praise. And through your efforts, somebody get blessed. I God will bless you in return. Praise. Amen. Don't think about down the road or what they're doing. That's their problem. That's if God wants you to be there, God will send you there. Amen. Amen. If God wants you to be in that church, you're in the church. Don't God will bring in this church. It's true. For a reason. Amen. Amen. So give God thanks for all we have. Amen. Let's almost, let us one more time stand. Give God thanks for our pastor. Come on, let's give God thanks. Jesus. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And let's keep her in our keep her in our prayers. For people today, many don't hear from God no more. Many pastors don't hear from God no more. They don't hear from God no more. Thank you. May, may God bless her. And don't don't grieve her anymore. Amen. Don't come in here with burden, but you know it's not right. Get it right before you come in here. Make the work light. Amen. And may God bless you in Jesus' name. name Heavenly Father, Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord, for all that's been said and done tonight. Name God, help us all, God, to remember the whole landmark. God, help us not to go back. God, to the places where you have taken us from. Jesus. But, oh God, that we will continue to strive in thee, oh God. Jesus. God, help us, oh God, that we won't make a new way for ourselves. Yes. But, oh God, we will continue to drink from the fountain. Turn God, from heaven, God. Heavenly Father, God, as, as you said, Lord, it dwells. Jesus. God, it dwells up inside of us, God. Bringing water, God, and life Name giving love. Jesus. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we come to thee another time. God, I pray that you cover us on your blood. God, I pray you keep us. God, I pray that you be a fence, a shield, and our guide. God, I pray you keep us from all harm and danger. Yes. God, I pray that you be our shield and butler. God, I pray you keep us on the road, in the, in the car, on the train. God, at work, at home. God, wherever we may go, God, I pray your presence yes, will be Lord. near us. God, that's all that great Jehovah. Heavenly Father, God, I pray that you be with us continually. In the name of God, Jesus. I pray our steps will be ordered by you, oh God. Name Heavenly Father, God, I pray that we walk in your will and your will. Yes. God, I pray that you will lead. God, I guide and direct in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. God, I pray that our eyes will stay on thee. Hallelujah. God, you keep us in perfect peace. Yes. God, you say, whose mind is stay on thee. In the name God, of I pray that you cover us on your blood continually. God, I remember our pastor right now, strengthen in the name of Jesus. God, strengthen our body. Yes.
baptism come up here let me pray with you all those who are ready to baptize not tonight but you're ready for baptism in Jesus name come up and let us pray with you is there anyone here ready to baptize in Jesus name come and pray with this brother anybody is want to baptize in Jesus name okay you ready Come and pray for her. Baptize in Jesus' name. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Deliver him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Name of Jesus. Touch them, touch them. Touch them. You must. We're going to pray that God fill them with the Holy Ghost. And that they don't baptize and go away. Amen. Amen. Pray in the name of Jesus. That Satan have no part in the life. Have no part in the life in the name of Jesus. Let their heart be washed. Take their mind. Take their body. Take their thought. Take their will, Lord. Change them. Turn them completely. Let them feel your blood apply. Change him, Lord. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Good Lord bless you. And keep on coming. This brother wants to baptize a long time. We're going to baptize. It won't be too long now. In Jesus' name.